you say YIVA, folk know what you're talking about, but it stands for Youth Excellence Performing Arts Workshop. We started uh, maybe about 50, 60 kids in the basement of Arlington Church of God. It was just in the evening, it wasn't an all-day program, but I just felt like I needed to do more, it just wasn't enough. Um, uh, and I just honestly started because, like I our kids get a pretty bad rap. And people were just saying they're a hopeless generation and I wouldn't be a young person again and oh, oh, just don't try to say anything to them, they have too much information. And then I started remembering what I was like when I was a teenager and I'm sure folks looked at me and said, oh please forget it. And so I, I just said, I think I'm gonna look at what I have in my hand and gospel music is what I love and what I do. And I just thought I could find some young people who would take the high road if, if somebody showed them how and then would walk with them for a while. So we started there, it's about 60 kids or so, bringing in community leaders to speak to them and teaching them gospel music. It was called the Youth Excellence Gospel Choir when we first started. And then uh, decided, let's move and go all day. And with some uh, wonderful friends that I have on the University of Akron's campus, we decided we could go all day. And that's where, how that started. So now we started uh, in 1990 with about 50, 60 kids. Now, 23 years later, uh, we have well over 300 young people that are with us at this, this year. My hope is that they will realize that excellence is intentional. It's purposed and it's planned. And if I can get um, a young person to see that I'm worth being my best, I tell them to dream. I want you to dream. And that's not a fantasy. It's a dream. And this is the YEPAW acronym. I tell them to dare to be your best. Anybody can be mediocre and just kind of uh, casually halfway do a job, but it takes a person who really believes in themselves to say, I'm going to dare to be my best. Then I tell them to R, respect yourself and respect others. I can tell how well you respect yourself by the way you treat other people. Most people who treat other people poorly, they have a poor image of themselves. So respect yourself, respect others. E, make excellence the center of your character. I don't care where you are, if nobody's looking, be excellent. That's character. When nobody's watching, I'm still my best no matter where I am. And then A, attitude is everything. You can be the cutest thing in the room, and that little ugly attitude will shut the door of opportunity. But you can walk in and maybe not be the sharpest knife in the drawer. You may not really be the best one in the room, but come in telling me I want to be the best one in the room. And the doors of opportunity swing wide open for you. So attitude is everything. Then I tell them M, it's a double, it's a double M, dream. You want to be able to master one thing. Be able to say, I know I may not be very well at English. I'm not real good at writing papers, but give me a math problem. I can work a math problem. So make sure you can do one thing and one thing well and master it so well that you can minister with it. You can teach somebody else how to do it. You can give it away. So if those young people walk away from me and they have that yeepaw dream, they've learned how to persevere, they've learned how to hang in there, they've learned how to check their attitude, and they've learned how to be able to say, you know what, I know I can do one thing well, then I've done my job. Our young people are looking for a safe place. And they are looking for someone to give them a standard. Raise the bar for me and show me how I can get over that bar and then raise it again for me. And then show me how I can get over that bar. And so I'm saying to my community that I know young people who are saying, if you show me how, I'll do it. And we have the resources here to help our young people finish school because they have a dream of going beyond that. We have young people here are saying, 
this is my hometown. I, I, I'm a stakeholder here already. We have kids here who are committed to Bookto High School. They are Griffins. We have kids here who are committed to Garfield. They're Garfield Rams. They are committed to this city and they love it here. And I want to show them parts of the city that many of them will have never seen. Some of them have never walked across the University of Akron's campus. I got them staying in the dorm there at 14 expecting to go to school here. They're going to perform on E.J. Thomas stage. Why not? I live here. And so I want to say to this community, we have wonderful, phenomenal young people who just need a chance to soar. And so I want to set their trajectory to soar. And now at the ground level is where we are to send these kids out into life knowing that we expect them to be excellent.